hello friends welcome to my youtube channel uh, today's topic is uh, how to run cp in background mode and what are the various important debugging commands that are useful so basically when you run cp uh, you run it for multiple days even for weeks so it's not possible to run it in foreground mode always so you have to run it on background mode and keep it running for uh, days after days uh, so how to run it in background mode and <clears throat> while running the traces while running cp you have to detect uh, what are the various uh, defects in your software where how the calls are failing so uh, what are the errors you are getting so all these important debugging things you have to log in log files so today i am going to discuss about all these points uh, how to run the cp in background mode and how to exit it while uh, in safely and how to do enable various kinds of debuggings so let's see friends how how we can achieve all this uh, so so friends uh, let's see here <clears throat> I'm running a small application here. So here I am running a uh, running CP to do all these uh, things. So let's first just see an example, then I will discuss about the debugging. So let's see here. I am running it with some debugging enabled and. Uh, Say for example, it will run for 10, uh, 10 uh, calls and it will exit. So it exited the call. So here I can see. <coughs> See that various log files are getting generated. So let's see, friends, what we, I have run here. So while running the CP, I have enabled this tracing, trace error, trace call debug, trace screen, and trace logs. <coughs> so this this is generating the files here, these log files. So these are default log files getting generated. So if there are errors, so while running my calls are failing because I have given intentionally some wrong uh wrong parameters so that uh, it gets some errors so see here this error logs are getting generated so <clears throat> i have enabled call debugging logs so call debugging logs also get generated and i have enabled the trace uh, tracing of a uh, screen so when the cp will exit it will keep the capture of the screen that was running uh, so let's see what are these log files actually So let's first verify the screen log so when you're running in the foreground mode you see this screen so when you exit uh, i mean if you <coughs> abruptly disconnect your uh, terminal in that case it will generate this uh, it will keep this as a log file so when you uh, re-log into system you will not lose your uh, statistic screen so it will be logged in a file so in the if you run your cp in background mode also there also if you exit it safely this uh, these statistic screens will get locked if you enable statistic screens so this is very important so that you can see your statistics later also like if you run the cp for weeks and after weeks you exit the cp safely then you will be able to see your statistics what are the statistics how many calls failed how many call success so this is very important comment for debugging purposes so let's see friends what are the various CP commands useful here? So let's see here trace error commands. So if I uh, enable trace error, the errors will get logs. The default uh, file name is like this scenario file name PID, then errors.log. PID is the CP PID. 
if you want to change this default file name you can put this uh, argument and set the file name is whatever you want so similarly like trace error codes options are there tra errors override if you want to override the log files you can enable it but by default is true if you don't want you can make it false similarly trace call debug options are there <coughs> as I already shown you in example so similarly trace uh, call debug also has option to set its own file name the way you want and also to overwrite option is there similarly trace screen option is there so if you want to enable uh, times uh, frequency uh, times you can enable these options as well uh, so trace logs you can enable the trace logging also so these are the options where you can uh, you can uh, uh, various options you can put to capture the logs so le now let's see how to run the CP in background mode so uh, let's see other log files as well these are the error logs this will capture only the errors because here i have created the errors like uh, discarding the messages so these will only keep the error logs so uh, i mean when you practically uh, practically debug your application you will run the traces for days so during this time period there might be few calls will be get failed few calls will be success so only the error logs will be uh, generated in this file so later you can debug why these error logs are generated and why this particular call has failed uh, while running the traffic testing so these are very useful to identify the application issues well stress testing if there are some calls are failing so you can uh, debug those calls easily from the error logs And here is the call debug so so here every call will get locked what are the request what is the response from the application uh, the application that you are debugging so here in call logs all calls will get uh, locked so in future if you want to check any call uh, what was the status uh, of that particular call how long it took to respond so all this you can see here easily so these are very useful comments for debugging cp application and while stress testing uh, to identify the issues these comments are very useful so now let's see friends how to run it in background mode so if you put option bg this will start cp in background mode so here you can see <clears throat> CP already started in background mode. So this is the PID. So so it already exited. Let me increase the number of calls so it will not enter, uh, so it will not exit. So it will run for ten thousand calls. So it created another PID. So you can see that it's already running in background mode with the PID. This, this is the PID here. It started. So friends, <clears throat> now the thing is that uh, how to exit? Like uh, you want to run it for uh, ten thousand calls. Here I have enabled it for ten thousand calls. But it may be required that. Uh, before finishing 10,000 calls, you want to exit this application. So uh, you cannot just kill this application in straight way. It will kill the application and you may uh, exit without proper logging. So the way to kill it is so you have to send seek user one signal to uh, this process so that it will exit safely so
so I have sent a user signal to this process to to safely exit the CP application. So it exited safely here. So it will generate all the log files. So you see that here, here all the logs file got generated. It also captured. It also uh, inserted the screen logs here. So you can see that it uh, ran for because I have enabled for 10,000 calls after 59 calls I have killed the application safely. So uh, it exited after 59 calls. So but I got all the captures everything though it was running in background mode and I have exited it before application itself exited. But still, I got all the statistics logs, error logs, call debug logs. So this is how you can you can control your CP application. So here you can see that all the error logs, call debug logs, screen logs are generated. So friends, this is how it is easy to debug all the calls and run the CP in background mode. And whenever you want to exit, you can exit the application. So this is all about uh, CP, uh, CP debugging and running it in background mode. So thanks friends, thanks for watching. So friends, uh, here I have uh, uploaded few more videos related to CP here. You can see that few more videos are there. And as it is SIP related, so there are a few more videos related to SIP. You can view these videos as well. And there are a few other videos as well related to uh, related to SMS, then uh, WebRTC, then C, C++. If you are interested, you can check those videos as well. So friends, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get latest updates. Uh, Whenever I will upload new video, if you are subscribed, you will get a notification here. So friends, thanks. Thanks for watching.